Okay, so the idea now is to talk about lymphocytopenia, one type of uh, white blood cell deficiency. This is, uh, this is the lymphocyte now. Uh, so when we're talking about lymphocytes, firstly, let's understand what the lymphocytes are. The lymphocytes are the T cells, B cells, and NK cells. Most of them are the T cells, and most of the T cells are CD4 cells. In the T cell, there are CD4, CD8, T regulatory. In the B cell, they can become plasma cells, and NK cells are part of the innate immune system, which are important in cancer cell detection, in uh, autoimmune regulation, uh, and in uh, invasion detection and treatment and uh, killing. Okay. So uh, let's talk about lymphocytopenia. So lymphocytopenia is considered in adults below 1,000 and uh, in children, in pediatrics, uh, less than 3,000 for less than two years old. And, and you can see here the distribution, as uh, you, can, you know, and this is the amount of lymphocyte uh, as the age progress. Again, the, the idea is uh, what you can see here as adults and for children. Okay, uh, so etiology, we can be acquired or inherited. Uh, acquired, those are the acquired causes of, the most common acquired causes of uh, lymphocytopenia. You can see here the COVID-19, lymphocytopenia in one of the uh, bad prognostic factors in COVID-19. Uh, HNV infection also can kill CD4 cells. TCD4 cells, as you know, uh, even age is defined based on the amount of CD4 cells, and I forgot now exactly the number, under 200 or something. This is what defines uh, AIDS in HIV. Protein and energy under nutrition, mainly in third uh, world countries, uh, developed countries, developing countries, not developed, developing countries, and certain other viral infections. Um, Okay, when we'll come to the inherited lymphocytopenia, we will see uh, genetic disorders like uh, severe combined immune deficiency disorder, uh, where T cells are absence, absent, and sometimes also B cells are absent, but this is not a must. And another one is Wiscott Erdwig syndrome, where combined B and T cells def are defected, uh, and therefore there are current infections, and this is a problem. Now, the symptoms and signs based on the, uh, the etiology. If it's an autoimmune disease, we can have uh, other presentations of the autoimmune disease, like if we have, I don't know, a lupus, uh, no, lupus or mini alopecia for autoimmune disease, maybe um, eczema, atopic dermatitis, if the patient has autoimmune disease, uh, autoimmune uh, Pallor, if I don't know if the patient have uh, cytopenias, patechia, if the patient also have platelet disorders, like in lupus, that there can be cytopenias, uh, HIV infections, it can cause general infadenopathy and splenomegaly, Hodgkin lymphoma, uh, mm, absence of tonsils and lymph nodes in cellular immunodeficiency. Mm. Okay, so. When there is lymphocytopenia, think about uh, autoimmune disease that can happen, think about genetic disorder of lymphocytes, think about viral infection, think about HIV, think about uh, cancer that can develop because lymphocytes are absent. Uh, remember that T lymphocytes, we have Treg, which are important for autoimmune regulation. And, if, and when we have deficiency of T cells, the immune cell, immune system may be not regulated and therefore the uh, risk for autoimmune disease is increased. The same goes for cancer. Cancers also can in be increased in prevalence and the uh, defense again certain infections is less pronounced therefore the patient can have recurrent infections. You can see here the infection that can happen and can be even fatal. Okay, so lymphocytopenia is a type of immune deficiency. Immune deficiency then can cause cancer, can cause autoimmune disease, and can cause recurrent and sometimes fatal uh, severe infections. Diagnosis. Uh, so diagnosis we can see in recurrent infections. This is clinically. And in the CBC, we can, in the differential, we can see low levels of lymphocytes. Remember, remember that most of the white blood cells are a uh, 
granulocytes and especially neutrophils. Therefore, sometimes when the lymphocytes are low but uh, not uh, too much or something, the white blood cell can be even in the normal range, but we have lymphocytopenia, so differential is quite important. Uh, we can uh, measure the lymphocyte subpopulation, immunoglobulin levels. Uh, okay. So we have when we have a patient with a current infection, with infections that are not uh, typical, check for one of the uh, causes of lymphocytopenia. You can see here the infections, pneumocytic carinigio vecchi, cytomegalovirus, rubella, varicella, pneumonitis. Uh, okay. uh, treatment. If there is a cause, of course, treat the cause. I don't know if the cause is what. If the cause is, uh, I don't know, a, something that causes cytopenias, like, uh, I don't know, a medication that can cause cytopenia, like chemotherapy. Uh, so take off the chemotherapy if you can. If the cause is a uh, other medication, take it off. If the cause is a uh, cancer, if the cause is, uh, I don't know, leukemia, lymphoma, HIV, you need to treat the cause if you can. And uh, sometimes IV subcutaneous immunoglobulin, if immunoglobulins are missing, Remember that one of the lymphocytes are B cells, B cells become plasma cells, and those two types of cells uh, create the uh, immunoglobulin IgA, IgG, and IgM in the body. So patients with lack of B cells will have lack of immunoglobulins in the body. And of course, immunoglobulins are very important for targeting uh, cells of uh, invaders and sometimes uh, cancer cells. Um, so if there is a deficiency in B cells, there will be deficient immunoglobulin levels in the body and uh, invaders can uh, proliferate. Okay, so sometimes hematopoietic stem cell transplantation can be used if the patient has, I don't know, a genetic disorder which causes depletion of T cells, B cells, uh, and it is genetic uh, abnormality. You can see here that can be considered for all patients with congenital immune deficiency and may be curative. And possibly, okay, this was said, okay. And that's it, that's about uh, lymphocytopenia. And thank you very much. If there are any corrections, please correct me. Sorry for any mistake if I made. This was about lymphocytopenia from Mac Manual Professional Edition, and that's it.